I'm sorry I couldn't make a video last week. I had an exam the whole week, so I'm sorry for not being able to make a video last week. So today we are going to go into our lesson and do the activities we usually do. We're going to have the opening prayer and we'll have the mission story. And we are going to learn our memory verse in a different way today because it is a long one. Next, we're going to, I'm going to give you a um, summary of, of the Bible story with the important lessons in it. And then we'll go to our craft. So I hope you're ready as we go along on this journey. I want you to close your eyes as we pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath. Thank you for helping us throughout the week. We ask, O oh Lord, that you bless us as we learn about you today. Help us so that we are going to learn lessons that we will use in our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's mission story is from Serbia about the girl called Emma and a cat. And RK is going to tell us the story. Thank you, RK. Over to you now. Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. Our mission story today is entitled Poison Tom. Emma Makura from Serbia has always loved animals. When she was three, she begged her mom for a horse. But her mother told her that a horse was too big to keep in their city apartment. So Emma asked for a dog. Father didn't think a dog was a good idea because they didn't have a yard. Emma didn't give up and asked for a cat. Her parents told her that she could have a pet if they moved to a house with a yard. And now that Emma was seven, they moved into a house with a yard. So Emma got a two-month-old kitten and she named him Tom. Soon after Tom arrived home, mother found brown cockroaches in the bathroom. So father bought poison, shaped into small orange balls. Emma's family strictly forbade Tom from entering the bathroom because there was poison. But Tom found the bathroom to be an interesting place and tried to slip in whenever someone opened the door. One Sunday, Emma and her family loaded the car for a day trip to her grandmother and grandfather in Croatia. Sadly, Tom could not go along. As mother finished packing, she took the laundry from the bathroom and forgot to close the door. Tom immediately darted in. Father went inside the bathroom just in time to see Tom swallow an orange bowl. Tom is eating poison! Emma's father shouted. Emma, her mother, and her brother rushed into the bathroom. Father opened Tom's mouth, but it was too late. Emma began to cry. Her father and her mother comforted her. Her mother said that maybe God will do a miracle. Her family prayed outside the bathroom door. Please, Jesus, keep Tom alive. Emma prayed. Father left Tom in a room with plenty of food and water, and they left. As they traveled, they prayed many times for Tom, and also in their grandparents' house. Emma's grandmother comforted her and told her that cats vomit when they eat something horrible. Emma hoped that Tom would vomit. After the day's trip, when they arrived home, they found that Tom was alive. Emma squealed with joy. Emma's brother Luca offered a prayer of thanksgiving. Let us remember that God always hears our prayers wherever we are or will, no matter how old we are. I hope you learned something from our story today. Thank you, RK, for telling us that beautiful story about Emma and a cat. Now, I want you to think. On a day after it rains and then the sun comes out, there's something you usually see in the clouds. There's rain and then there's sun. What's that thing you see in the cloud? What do you call it? Oh yes, it's called a rainbow. Okay, now we know what it's called. It's a rainbow. So what is the origin of the rainbow? How did it? start like who made a rainbow why is it there 
Haha, <laughs> I know you're really trying to think about the answer to that. Well, that's what the story for this week is about. The title for this week's story is A Rainbow Promise. So I'm going to put the um, link for the video in the description box. And if you're not able to watch the video, you can read the story from Genesis chapter 8 verse 15 to chapter 9 verse 17. That is where the story for this week is taken from. And so Noah and his family had been in the ark for more than one year. Because, you know, after the rain came down, there was flood all over the place. So they had to be staying in the ark till the waters reduced and there was no more flood. So I'm sure you know what it feels like to stay indoors for a very long time. Because most of us around the world, we've been quarantined uh, for a very long time in our homes. And so you can really understand how Noah and his family felt when at last God told them, now you can go out. The, you, it's, it's okay now to go outside. They were so happy that finally they can go out. But they had questions. What would the outside world look like? They've been in the ark for so long. Would the outside be the same the way they left it? Well, it didn't take them long for them to discover what, ha what has happened to their world. When they opened the ark, they came out and oh my, what a sight. Everything has changed. All the plains became jagged mountains and oh goodness. What they left when they went into the ark was a completely different thing from what they saw when they came out of the ark. Still, they were thankful to be alive and they let all the animals to come out of the ark and everybody was happy. But you know what Noah and his family did? They decided to come together and worship. So they put they carried all the you know mountains and the stones and built an altar to God and they knelt to down around the altar and prayed and worshiped God. When they finished worshiping, and you know, you usually when you worship, you pray, and then they opened their eyes and looked up in the clouds, like looking around them, and there was this amazing, colorful thing in the sky. And they were so amazed, like, what can that be? The colorful thing in the sky was the first rainbow. God has sent them a rainbow as a covenant promise of what he's going to do. And when they see the rainbow, they're supposed to remember God's promise. And what is the promise? That you would never use flood to destroy the earth again. God put the rainbow in the sky as a sign to show humanity that it would never destroy the earth with flood again. So anytime you see a rainbow, you could maybe it's after a rainy day or something you found by yourself. I want you to remember that it is God's sign of a promise that no matter how the world is going, at least one thing is sure, a flood is not what is going to destroy us in this world. Never will there be a flood anymore that will destroy the whole earth like it did in the time of Noah. Okay, so I'm going to make some important points about the story. What did Noah and his family did when they came out of the ark? Yes, they worshiped. They gave thanks to God for protecting them while they were in the ark. So likewise, when God has done something for us, we need to thank Him for His protection, just like Noah and his family did. What sign did God give to Noah and his family, and by extension, us? Yes, God gave us the rainbow as a sign. And what sign was the rainbow for? That's right. Never again will a flood destroy the whole earth. So when you, whenever you see the colors of the rainbow, you will remember that God's promises are true. And he put the sign for us to remember that. Oh, now that we're talking about the rainbow and the promises, what are the colors of the rainbow? 
Hmm, let's see. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The rainbow has seven colors. We are going to make our own rainbow today. And the rainbow will also help us to learn our memory verse. If you are able to arrange the colors of the rainbow, then you can see your memory verse for this week. Let's get to it. First, you're going to get all the colors of the rainbow. And there's a blue one. This is supposed to be blue. Okay. Now you cut strips like this. You cut a strip like this of all the colors. I will remember my awful eyes. Covenant between me and my and all living. Why, 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 are all creatures of every kind? Never again will the violet waters become a flood to destroy all life. I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. finished craft with the memory verse and as you see you when you remember the arrangement of the colors of the rainbow you can recite your memory verse I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind never again will the Waters become a flood to destroy all life. And it's from Genesis 9, 15. And so you're going to write on top, God is faithful. So anytime you see a rainbow in the clock, you remember that God is faithful and he keeps his promises. Of the colored papers, you can um, use white paper and Use your crayon or colored pencil to, you know, color the rainbow and then write the memory verse on each of the color. So, thank you for joining me for this week's um, lesson. I'm very happy to be able to share the lesson with you again for this week. So, until next time, bye-bye.